Hello everyone, welcome to Skillform Symbol Doorlock UI tutorial. In this part I will show you how to import the flash file and then create the necessary Kismet setup inside UDK. By the way, I'm using UDK March 2012 version. So let's get started. Alright, so I've finished creating my level here. Now let's add our door, select our door here and right click and select add interp actor okay uh, add interp actor and press the end key to snap the object to the floor and rotate it 90 degrees position it duplicate transform mirror y axis right, so now the door is in position let's animate the door so first we will go to Kismet, create a new Matney, open up Matney, right click add new empty group, we will name it right door, we will add a new movement track, we will set the frame to 2 seconds, set it to 2, change the door position and press enter so we have created our animation now we will select the left door create a new empty group in the left door add a new movement track again go to frame 2 and change the position and press enter so now the doors is now animated let's add uh, our let's import our flash file now so let's import it UDK game flash scale from 2 so we just got to open it up, press OK and save our package. And to three custom package. Save. Alright now file is now saved. Let's create a new texture render target 2D. Name it scale for T2D target 2D and set the height and width to 512 by 512 press ok save it and create a new material scale for T2D underscore material Select the texture render target 2D, create a new texture sample and uh, change the blend mode to alpha composite and plug it to emissive and the opacity to opacity. That's it. Save the package. Now it's time for Kismet. In Kismet, we will first add a new level loaded and we'll go to new action GFX UI open GFX movie. We'll plug it in. For the movie player, we'll create a new empty object for the player owner. We'll create a new player. Now, for the movie, we will use the scale form underscore tip. Open it up, plug it in, and set the render texture mode to alpha composite for the render texture. We will 
use the scale formula to score T2D. We'll plug it in. Alright, now what we want to do is create a new BSB material here. I'll create it in a moment. Okay, so I have added my CSG brush here. I'll go to the Kindle browser, select the material, right click, and apply material. Right now, it is looking awkward. Lighting needs to be rebuilt. Right now, play. And you can see it's looking awkward. To fix that, select the material. By the way, if you're unable to select this, make sure a lot translucent selection is turned on. So press F5 and set this to 0 0.5. Apply. Now flip 90 degree and you're good to go. Right now, play it. Still looking awkward. Save the map. Save the map and you will see it's looking the correct way. Now let's add our functions. Before that, let's create a new trigger here. Open up Kismet. Right click. New event using trigger touch. We'll add one more. New event using used. We'll come to this later. So first, we will add a new action, GFX UI invoke action script. We will set the movie player to empty variable. Three plus two more. Plug it into the touched. And here the method name, we will use the play animation clip from Flash. Now, action panel, play movie clip. This is our main animation. We will use that method name here. And when it is untouched, by the way, press Ctrl W to duplicate this node. When it is untouched, we will play the reverse clip and one more thing, set the max trigger count to zero close and play open, locked open, locked open, locked it's working good now, now what we want is we want the door to animate. So for that, we will use the used event here. We will duplicate the invoke action script. We'll plug the used, and inside this, we will use the play movie clip continue, which will play the continue animation. That is this animation here. This is the continue animation. And then we will play the map missing. Alright, now play it. Open locked. Open locked. Press E. Alright, I forgot to turn off. Uh, aim to interact, make sure this is turned off. Now I'm going to play. Press E and the animation plays. The problem is once we leave the trigger area, it will play the locked animation. So to prevent that, we will create a new set variable bool, boolean. And the here 
for the target we will use a new main variable we will name it door open and we will set the expected type to boolean and we will set this target and set the value to true and we will use the used output to bool input we will plug it in uh, then we will set the output to the input of GFX invoke action script then we will create a new boolean variable name it door open now you can see the it's now a green check mark here <coughs> sorry about that now for the untouched event we will create a new compare boolean new uh, condition comparison compare bool we will use the untouched and the result is door open um, I'm sorry the boolean is door open and if it is true then we will create a new delay press and hold D and then press left mouse button to create a new delay set the duration to 3 that is 3 seconds if it is true if it is true then we will start the delay and we'll play the animation in reverse if it is false then we will simply play the reverse clip now what this basically does is when we press the used when we use the trigger it will set the boolean door open to true so that it will know that the door is now open and it will play the continue clip that is this animation here and once once we step back from the trigger area it will compare the boolean you in the uh, door opened boolean here so if the boolean is true that is if the door is been has been used then it will start the delay and it will after three seconds it will play the reverse animation and or if it is false then that means the door has not yet been opened so it will simply play the reverse animation here let's check it out open locked open locked when i press t place the animation and press step back it will not pop up here once the uh, door closes it should show up well it's not showing oh yeah i'm sorry about that it's because after reverse we haven't set the boolean, boolean back to false so we will simply duplicate this one here and we will delete this output here we will plug this reversed into this boolean variable so once the animation completes it will set the boolean to false that means the door is now not open so now play it open locked open locked open locked press e animation place door closes it will pop up still not popping up let me see. Again, my bad. I didn't set the uh, reverse clip animation. Plug it in. Now, when you play, open, press E, 
your pants your clothes the blazer now open lock okay again so there's a little delay there and closed and door closes open step back there is a delay to play that animation so we will fix that we will open up kismet delete this value here right click create a new boolean set it to false now play open press E it fades away door opens and wait for it to close door closes animation pops up open locked open locked Everything is now working fine. Door should close now. Animation pops up. Open locked. Open locked. All right. So now you know how to make a door lock UI in um, Unreal Development Kit using Kismet with no Unreal script. If you have any doubt regarding this setup, feel free to contact me on UDK forums. You can post your comment here in scale form symbol door lock UI inspired from that space thread. Or you can send me a PM. Or you can post a comment here in this video in YouTube. Or you can personally message me in YouTube and I'll be glad to help you out. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this is useful to you and have a nice day.